Hi, and welcome back to Creative Faith with McKenna. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you some good movie recommendations to watch in celebration of summer. So the first movie I'm going to talk about is Ferris Bueller's Day Off. This is a very teenagery movie. It's basically um, rebelling against all the adults, you know, like skipping school. What else do they do? Like telling your parents that you're sick and like actually making it believable, and going to parties and all that. Like it's kind of like end of school summer vibes. I would say that this is a good movie to watch. It's actually really funny too. I've only watched it once. I watched it in English class um, of all places. It's a good movie to watch. It's it's uh, fun and easy to understand. It reminds you of when you were a kid or if you're like me, a teenager, when you are a teenager. <laughs> a Week Away is a very um, cute movie. It's a Christian movie about a kid, a troubled teenager who has gone through the foster system, has to go to church camp. Basically, this kid learns about God, makes friendships, and even there are even some love interests in this movie. So um, I like this movie because it's like a musical, so it's upbeat and fun, and you want to dance to the music. And the acting is actually pretty good for um, teenagers. Um, I would definitely recommend watching this movie. It's got, it totally has a summer vibe because it's like summer church camp. Totally recommend this is a movie on Netflix that movie was called a week away the parent trap is such a classic um, the one with Lindsay Lohan uh, such a good um, summer movie to watch it follows two girls that live completely separate lives and um, their parents one lives with her dad one lives with her mom and um, they didn't even know they were twins until they went to the same summer camp. Um, parents think alike, don't they? Found out that they were twins and they made the connections and then they switched places. The one that lives with her dad went to go see the mom because she didn't know her mom, you know? Like, so it's just kind of cute to see um, the, the girls try to get their parents back together. It's a good summer movie to watch. That movie was called The Parent Trap. I read all the Black Beauty book different versions I could find when I was in grade three. It was the only book that I would read because I did not like reading. Now I love reading. And they made a 2020 movie. I love this movie. It's got great storytelling and it's actually narrated by the horse. Now, as stupid as it may sound, it's not. I love how it's narrated by the horse because you get to see how the horse feels and um, the just the connection between Joe and the horse, Black Beauty, is just so strong. They they deal with hardships and getting separated and it's just, it's. It's a very nice movie to watch. You don't have to watch it during summer, but I just wanted to mention it here because it's um, all the hardships that they both go through. Um, jo losing her parents and having to go live, live with her uncle and this is where she meets Black Beauty, such a stubborn, rambunctious horse and she's the only one that can connect to her. And then a barn fire separates them. Black Beauty goes through all these different adventures. Um, some of them not so great because the people don't treat horses right. And basically the question is, will she ever find her way back to Joe? It's a good movie to watch. I totally recommend it. I love the way of the storytelling and um, how the horse narrates it all. That movie was called Black Beauty. Safe Haven is a good movie to watch. It's a little bit of a mystery, but for the most part, it's just a, a feel-good movie. Um, it's about this woman who has a really troubled past. She goes and escapes an abusive marriage. So she goes and travels to a new town and she starts having a relationship with um, a man who lost his wife a few years ago and he has two children and they just start to build this relationship. It's a little bit of a romance. It, no, I'm, I'm not, who am I kidding? It is a romance movie. It's like got a summer vibe to it. The ending is a little bit unexpected maybe, but I totally recommend watching it. How will this man that she's got this connection with and that they're building a relationship, how will he react to finding out that she's wanted because her ex-husband, which is who's abusive, or her husband, I guess, um, is a cop and he can manipulate the systems. So how will this new man in her life react when he finds that out is basically the question. And is she safe? Because this man is trying to, her husband is trying to get her back. 
at all costs. So that movie was a safe haven. As always, Pitch Perfect is a go-to movie. Um, basically, it's just a um, movie about uh, this group of girls that sing um, competitively. It's a trilogy, actually. Um, I'm sure most of you have heard about it, but if you haven't, um, here's the description. And it's a really good movie. I like the first one the most, I think. There's the second one and the third one, but my heart lies with the first one. Teen Beach Movie is a musical. It's also, there's a second one too, but I like the first one. I like both of them, but the first one's really good. There's this girl and this guy, and he loves this movie. And the girl's like okay with it, but she's not like in love with the movie, where the guy's like just dancing along to every song in the movie. And then they somehow end up in, in the movie. <laughs> they go swimming and then they come up to the shore and, um, they're in the actual movie that they that this guy is obsessed with and because they are these new new characters in this movie that aren't supposed to have these new characters um they actually end up intervening in a way that's not great the two main characters in the movie that they are now currently a part of were supposed to fall in love with each other and now they've fallen in love with this girl and this guy that are now a part of the movie um, it's kind of troublesome the girl and the guy can't get back to where they are from, the modern day world that we live in, um, until they try to find a way of getting the main characters back to fall in love with each other, because um, if they don't, they will become a permanent part of the cast. So like I said, it's musical, so there's tons of uh, summary songs, it all takes place on the beach. It's just a really cute um, musical movie, I like it. Yeah, check that one out, that one was called um, Teen Beach Movie. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it gave you some movie recommendations to watch in the summer. Maybe they're not all summery, but um, I don't know. I like these movies and I think that they have summer vibes embedded in them, even if they're not summer storylines. Check out these movies and um, I will link the description to some of the other movie recommendation videos I have. I have faith-based movies and um, romance and action uh, movie recommendations as well. So check out the link in the description below to watch those um, YouTube videos as well. Have a lovely day and I'll see you next time.